Um, moving on then um, to um, the next theme, which is about COVID disruption and a question for, for both of you to consider here um, from um, Jerome Lesty in, in Elgin Academy. He, he asks, what happens when we have two thirds of a class self-isolating for 10 days? How do we assess them in three weeks, assuming they don't have to do so again? That's presumably don't have to self-isolate again. So it's the effect of self-isolation during this period on um, the assessment processes. So who would like to start on that one? I can say something on that, Susan. Um, so I mean that's that's obviously a really a really worrying um, scenario for 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 teachers and and for young people and their their parents. Um, and I suppose that's why, or that's one of the reasons why the ACM has such flexibility built into it. You know, there was there was uh, I suppose there was to some extent anticipation of scenarios like that, given the uncertainty of COVID, given the you know the kind of um, erratic patterns of the or behaviour of the pandemic across the country. So, so one of the reasons why there was that flexibility built in in terms of how teachers could assess, in terms of when teachers could assess, um, you know that that that. that that was the, the reason for that. And we've certainly within the NQ um, groups, we've been clear that this process is underway right up until the 25th of June. You know, the reason why we extended the deadline was to, um, you know, create space, create time and space to, to, um, to tackle those kind of scenarios, but also to maximise the flexibility that schools would have and the time for learning, teaching um, and sound assessment within that. Um, so, so that that's kind of what, what what we would say about the the model as it sits at the moment. But I, I referenced just very um, you know just very quickly um, when I was speaking at the beginning that that we are also looking at contingencies, other contingencies potentially you know for for young people who find themselves in that um, in that kind of really unfortunate scenario this this term um, because we understand that every single day. Is precious, you know. Every single day in the lead up to the twenty fifth of June is precious. So any days that are lost, um, you know, through through absence, um, for COVID related or or any other reasons, um, you know, are going to be a, a cause for real concern for for teachers trying to support young people through their qualifications and obviously for young people and their their families as well. So so we are we are looking at that, um, I think we've made some some good headway on that, um, and 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 hopefully the final details of that can be fleshed out. In the not too distant future, and shared with schools, um, you know, sooner rather, uh, schools and colleges rather sooner rather than later. Thank you. Um, somebody from SQ. Yeah. I think I think that flexibility is 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 core, and I, I agree with Andrea about uh, around that and the, the the flexibility of the model, and the 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 additional time. Uh, that that it's not three weeks, you know. It shouldn't, or it, I, I'd be a, a surprise if it was three weeks. I, I accept there are some internal deadlines that schools are. Are putting in place, but but we've we've extended right out to the end of term, um, and uh, it, it you know kind of again kind of very conscious of the fact that I mean the arrangements that, that, that all the arrangements really this year are recognising the fact that there's a it's a disrupted year, um, and of course it's more disrupted than any of us would have wanted or or wished for. But um, I think I think that flexibility piece is key. So offering young people an alternative opportunity. You know, again, focusing on quality, not quantity of evidence, um, and you know, I think you know th th those are. I think that's that that is absolutely central. And and Andrea's talked a little bit about you know just we, we are continuing to look at whether there are other steps we can take. And um, she mentioned the the additional support provided by Education Scotland around um, an e-school around particularly around lost learning and teaching, um, and. Um, you know, I think that we're you know are pursuing whether there are other other avenues that we can that we can look at. But again, it does go back to this point about demonstrated attainment, um, the 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 modifications to assessment we've put in place, and the flexibility around timing. So those core elements of the model play in here quite strongly. I think. Um, thanks. Okay. Mm -hmm. 